welcome to today's video. Welcome. <clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome to 31 Days of Halloween. I'm your resident witch, Hello Queen, up in here. Today we are going to be turning ourselves into a pink aesthetic witch. Mm. Actually, this is like an everyday makeup tutorial. I wish I was kidding. Anyway, so here's a close up of the look. Guys, I'm obsessed. So All right, everybody. Let's turn ourselves into this pink aesthetic witch. Are you ready? All right, so we are gonna be starting off by applying foundation to our whole face. I'm using my favorite fish foundation brush. Seriously, this like applies like a dream. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the color natural. All right, just Beating that into my face using my beauty sponge. Now I'm using e.l.f. concealer and just putting that under my eyes and beating it in with a beauty sponge. I also am using it like the excess as a primer. Now I'm putting that in the center of my face and beating it in. Now I'm going to be grabbing my Floral Bloom Blush Palette, taking the top right pink shade, putting that all over the center of my face, including nose, cheeks, all that jazz. And I'm using rubbing or scrubbing. I'm tapping that in. Now that the whole first layer is applied, I'm going to blend that out using swirling motions. Now I'm taking the middle bottom shade and adding that because it's really pink and has a little bit of shimmer in it and I just really wanted to beef up this one. Now I'm putting that around my temples. And I'm taking this pretty low onto my forehead and then I'm going to be putting it on my jawline and I'm bringing it pretty much onto my chin so that you can see it when I'm looking straight on. Now I'm going to be taking my Remember Me palette using the shade in the pink. I am making a transition shade on my crease. Now going into hottie, I am pressing that into my lid and blending it out. This face makes me look like my mom. to be really opaque so I'm working pretty hard on it. 
Now I'm taking a hottie and buffing that all under the lower lash line and making it pretty darn blown out. Now I'm taking the color Como La Flor and putting that on the edge as my crease shade. Now pop on your eyebrows. Of course I'm using my Riasse eyeliner. Just kidding, not eyeliner. Eyebrow pencil, pen, crayon in the shade Black Brown. Why am I talking? Shh. Guys, I used to be so frustrated at filling my brows in until this freaking eyebrow crayon pencil thing. Like, it makes it so easy to fill in your eyebrows. Little tip for filling in your eyebrows, instead of drawing big long lines, make sure that as I draw the long line, make sure you're using smaller strokes. I'm taking some white body paint and some pink body paint, mixing those together and then adding a little bit more just plain white body paint. And now the trick of all tricks. You take a body pin, open it up, and use that to create purples. It's so much more precise than any brush that I've been able to find so far in my experience. So I just dip it in and then dot it all over my face creating tiny little pink freckles. Now I'm gonna flip the bobby pin over and make white freckles kind of in between where the pink freckles are. Sorry on this camera you can't really tell where the pink freckles are at all because they just blend into the blush. So the white helps a lot. Now just block your entire face with the mirror. Now I'm going to be drawing an upside down crescent moon, basically, on my forehead using the light pink body paint. I made a boo-boo, so I had to fix that a little bit, but then I decided that I would just keep drawing the correct shape and then I could fix Now I'm going to be drawing lines on my forehead, one down the middle, and then a couple in between. <laughs> in between. A couple <laughs> more. And I'm blending that body paint into my hair a little bit. Now I'm taking foundation and carving out that crescent moon so it's real crisp. Then I'm taking the bobby pin deciding that I hate it, and grabbing a brush to do the shading on this moon. Or highlighting, I guess, because shading is dark and highlighting is light. So this is highlighting. a little bit more foundation and fixing any mistakes that I've made. <laughs> Now I'm going to be adding a highlight to the edge of every one of the little lines on my forehead. Ooh, spit your tongue out. 
And now I'm going to be adding a line underneath my eyebrow in white, and then I will follow that with. pink eye body paint as eyeliner. Not eyeliner as body paint. Brains do really nice. Now I'm going to be going under and defining the bottom lash line with white and connecting that and pointing it out with a And now I'm out of frame, so who knows what I'm doing. And now the mirror is blinking. Guys, I'm terrible at filming. Now I'm using the light pink body paint to paint my eyelashes because I didn't want any black in this look. So we have pink lashes. You can do this with like, oh, and now I'm adding white. You can do this with colored mascara. I don't have any, so I just use body paint. Be warned if you're like wanting to go out for the night. Just kind of know that the eye lashes with the body paint is kind of irritating <laughs> so you can't touch them and they are very distracting so I'm just using that same body paint because I want to keep the continuity in color and I think this is a gorgeous pink color I couldn't find any lipsticks to match so I'm just using that as my lipstick now I'm going to be drawing a white line that kind of has a little bit of pink in it <laughs> uh, down the center of my bottom lip and down my chin. And I wanted it to be really white so I went over that a couple of times. Now I'm going to be drawing dots around the bottom jaw <laughs> words. I'm going to be drawing putting little dots around my lip and the line on the bottom of my chin. There's a semi outside, so that's what you hear. Please leave me alone, turn your car off. I'm drawing those dots around my eyebrows as well and on the inside, and I'm gonna draw three dots down this bridge of the nose. Now rhinestones. I'm gonna add three rhinestones in the center of my crescent moon. And that's that, babies. All right, everybody. This is how you create a pink aesthetic witch. Are we loving the freckles, the moon? Hmm. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please check me out on all of my other social media. All the links are below. We're on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all of them, everything. So hit me up on anything. Ask me any questions. If you have concerns, comments, anything, hit me up. I'd love to know. Also, if you love what you're seeing here, please shop this look down below in my link, brimacchiage.com. You can buy everything here. You can also buy amazing t-shirts on my Teespring. They're really funny. They have zodiac signs, that witch, you know, all the good stuff. Go check it out, link is below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Perfect.